It's an off day for the New York Mets on Monday, who have been slumping recently and are hoping to find the win column as they hit the road this week. No off days when it comes to talking Mets baseball. So let's talk about the amazings with SNY senior editorial producer Danny Abriano. Danny, please tell me that you are doing better than the Mets and that you're not slumping. <laughs> I think most people are, and uh, hopefully it stays that way. Hopefully it stays that way. Okay, Danny, we spoke last week, and look, last week was quite disappointing for the Mets and their fans. We talked about this stretch where the schedule produced very winnable games for the Mets. However, the Mets didn't win most of their games last week. They've gone 3-11 and since starting the season 14-7. and Now they're a game under 500. What is the current state of the Metropolitans in your eyes? They're in a bit of disarray right now. And like you said, we talked about this last week. They had a stretch coming up against opponents they should have been able to beat. Um, it would have been nice if they started to do that, and they have not. Um, they've gone from being 14-7 and to 17-18. and um, They're seven games back in the NL East. And they've basically been walked over by two inferior opponents here, and the Tigers um, and the Rockies this weekend. Um, so they're basically looking at a situation where it's not dire just yet. Um, it's been ugly. They're going to have to get stable against the Reds and then against the Nats coming up. I think they will. I said this last week that I thought they would beat the Tigers. I thought they would beat the Rockies. I think everybody thought that. Um, but now is the time they really have to buckle down and get out of this malaise that they've been in. Now is the time. We'll get back to those games coming up this week a little bit later. But Max Scherzer, we got to talk about him. He did not look good returning to the mound last week in Detroit. Should the team and fans be worried about the state of their ace pitcher? I'd be a bit concerned about him at this point. Um, I wasn't too worried early on in the season, uh, but his start against the Tigers was really alarming. Um, it was a lack of command. Um, it was the hard contact allowed. And it was just basically being non-competitive in that start. Uh, his walk rate is around four. It's way up. His strikeout rate is under eight. It's way down. It just hasn't come easily for Max. I think he'll turn it around soon. I'm not sure if he's going to be the guy he was last year, um, but the Mets really need him in a big way. I know Verlander's back, and that helps. Um, but they need Max to be Max. And another part of this is that he's pitching through an injury. Um, he's got a bit of back issue he's been dealing with that he's he's spoken about. So he's not 100% and trying to get back to being himself while pitching through an injury is not easy. And we'll see how he performs against the Reds on Tuesday. All right. We will see how he does in that start. Now, Danny, the Mets, they still have some winnable games like we talked about last week. They got some this week against teams with losing records. Three games, as you mentioned, against the Reds in Cincinnati before traveling to D.C., to battle the Nationals. What does New York need to do in order to get back into the win column this week? I mean, I think it's pretty simple. Uh, they need their starting pitching to stabilize. And there's been a lot of talk about the offense, and the offense has been listless um, and quite bad uh, over the last couple of weeks, especially the last five days or so. Um, but they need the starting pitching to stabilize. I think it will. Uh, Verlander being back will help that. Um, they're going to have Senga going against the Reds as well. And they got to rediscover their identity at the plate. Um, they're not really working the count. They're not hitting the ball with authority. They're not really moving guys over and putting themselves in a good position. Um, so these are simple things, but executing it will be the hard part, and they've got to start doing that. Well, it all comes down to the execution. We'll see if the Mets are able to do that this week against the Reds and the Nationals. That is Danny Abriano, senior editorial producer for SNY. Danny, always gets to talk some Mets baseball. I'm glad you're doing well. Let's hope the Mets get better this week. Let's hope for that. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed.